set up. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want to show you guys the setup of my my trading for stocks. So I have another one that I'm going to do a separate video for uh, the setup for options. But this one is specifically for stocks because I've gotten questions from a lot of you guys to kind of share what my setup looks like. Um, for the most part, I do trade using Weibo. So this is uh, Weibo and specifically this is the Weibo uh, web app because Weibo has two uh, two main platforms you can trade on, including your mobile uh, platforms. So that makes it three. You can trade on the web app or their desktop app or the mobile platform. So this is their web app that I'm talking about. And that's what I'm going to be showing here in this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to trading, you want to have a layout that works good for you. Uh, in my case, I've actually built a dashboard that works and give me all the information that I need um, to make a trade at a glance. So as you can see here, I've actually um, really modified the dashboard to my liking um, so that um, I have my flow. And in this case, my flow is from left to right. So if we start here, I, this is where I pick what stock I want to look at or trade. Next up is this is my entry form. And then this is uh, my level two um, data. And then this is the quote for that particular stack. And the reason why we I have the quote here um, is because it provides me with um, uh, marginable and shortable information. So, and then obviously my charts and my indicators, and then uh, you know, kind of like my position and my uh, working order, which is down here that I use. Then um, the very end here, I have the news because I mean, obviously news is important. So if I see a stock gapping, I if there's uh, any uh, news about that stock, I want to be able to click on this and see that news and and just you know kind of you know go with it. So that if it's good news, then I, I that would get my attention. If it's uh, no news, and then I start to wonder why is it being short squeezed and stuff like that. So again, like I said, my layout is um, from left to right. So if you go on the Weibo web app, you go on their trade. So when you log in, you go on their trade. This is where you want to come right here on their trade. Um, once on their trade, if you go to the top uh, right corner here, you would see it says new dashboard. So if you, if you hover over there, it says new dashboard. And so if you click on that new dashboard, it would bring you to a page like this. What I want you to do is click on this blank uh, dashboard right here. This one, this would be the blank where you're going to start with. So click on that blank. And then once, you, once you're done, um, it's going to bring you um, to the blank screen. On that blank screen, I mean, like I said, blank, it's going to be blank. It's going to be nothing on it. So on that page, on that screen, uh, what I want you to do next is um, add the following widget. So as you can see here on my screen, if you go to um, top right corner, again, go under widget settings and click on that, then the widget settings is going to show up. And then the very first step there is the generate tab. Um, you have account details, you have your watch list, you have position, and they have orders. So. I usually, so you click on watch list, you click on positions. I want you to have that um, there. So if you click on watch list, it's going to show up something like this. Um, and then if you click on, um, if you click on position, it's going to show you something like this. And you click on orders, it's going to show you something like this. But we're not going to use these orders uh, because we're using something else. And, I, and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to delete this since because I already have them on here. So I'm going to delete that. Then the next thing I want you to do, so you, I want you to do one, two, watch list and position. The next thing I want you to do is go on the stacks. Um, I want you to inc um, add quote to your um, to your dashboard. Uh, again, I'm deleting that because I already have quotes down here. I want you to add chart, which would be what we have here. Obviously, that's the first one you, you need. Um, and then I want you to add time and sales if you have one. And then under this other book, so it would be if you have level two, um, it would that's why it would show. But if you don't have level two, and then you can only do the time and sales. Um, so I want you to do um, other books, which is at level two. And then if you come down here, it says um, not not do option. It says news right here. I want you to add the news widget. Uh, once you add the news widget, 
that's what it's going to give you this. And then uh, what else do we have? So if we go under active trade, again, this is going to show you um, your active trade. And uh, um, what else? I think, and then if you go on the trade, yep, please do add trade. So on here, do chart, other books or time and sales, depending on if you have access to level two, add trade, and then um, add um, news right here and quote. So once you have that, means you have all the pieces that I have here. And then the only thing you have to do is just to move them around um, like I have right here. So um, you can move them to your liking. So in my case, I, I, I wanna make sure that um, my orders or my um, watch list is where I start. So the flow, the way I read is, I mean, I read normal, I read from left to right. So, hey, okay, we stuck there, I wanna trade, let's say AMC. I come to AMC, I click it on my on my uh, watch list. They populate across the board here. So I have my order from here. Let's say I wanna buy um, 100 shares of AMC, or I can pick it from this list. I put that information, I say buy, and then I, I, I fill in the rest of the information and I'm ready to place that order. But while I'm trying to place that order at 91.3, and I'm looking level two here, I'm saying like, hey, I see us coming at, uh, 91.5.6.7. So there's a possibility that this price is going to go up. So at that 91.3, um, that's the ask right here. Uh, let's see if I can get an order. So I'll place that order as a limit order. Again, I'm just telling you guys that this is the way I would look at it to get the information that I need. And then let's say if I wanted to short the stock, then I I'll look here under uh, quotes. So let's take, for instance, a stock that's shortable. Okay, let's say we take workhorse, which is shortable. Now, if I look here, it tells me that this stock is marginable. At the same time, the stock is uh, HTB, uh, which means had to borrow, but it's shortable. So I see that information. Then obviously I have my chart, which I'm gonna I put on here, open it or expand it to your liking and make it fit. Once I have the chart, the next step is I wanna put my indicator. So if you go under indicators and you can check it, you can see here, I have VWAP, RSI, I have uh, stochastic uh, right there. And then uh, if you scroll down, I have volume as well. So you can see right here. So this is um, right here, this bottom is RSI, this is volume and this is stochastic. So I add those three indicators and then um, on the chart again, this is one key thing I want you to do. If you go to the charts, go under settings right here, click settings, it's gonna bring up this. Uh, once this display comes up, I want you, to, if your short extended hours is unchecked, I want you to check it. Make sure that button is checked because uh, once that button is checked, and then you will see this gray area, as you can see on my screen here, that shows you that this is after hours. So this gray area, this gray box shows you after hours. Let me zoom in so you can see pre-market and after hours. So this is pre-market on the left side, uh, grayed out, means the market is not open. And then once the market open, is this dark area. And then when the market closes, you see that gray area again. So that's uh, uh, very important. Make sure you check that. And then once you have that, um, like here, I like my I like to have this widget for working orders and this widget for positions. So my working order, let's say I put in a limit order to buy uh, 100 shares of workhorse, uh, let's say 100 shares of workhorse at, let's say 15 bucks. Um, so if I put in that, it's gonna show up here as a limit order. So it's gonna be under working until that order gets filled and then move over to my position. And then from there, I can monitor and see if see my PL, if it's going up or it's going down, then I can make a decision. See if it's time for me to get out of the stock or keep holding uh, for those profits. So that would be the basic setup that I have. Uh, one other thing though, when I'm trading, um, I usually like to go to under under here where it says um, stocks. I want you to go to stocks, click on that, and then the top right corner where it says detach window. You detach that. Once you detach that window, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to have um, something like this show up. So you're going to have a window like this show up. Again, I'm just trying to superimpose this. You have a window like this show up. If you go to the top right corner where it says grid, you click on that and I can say four, it's gonna give me four different grades. So I can I could be watching this one stock, I could be watching uh, AMC, or I could be watching, uh, let's say, Clove. I'm just, I'm just putting some meme stocks in there. 
um, or I could be watching um, Blackberry. So let's say we're, doing, we're watching all those. So, and then this is why I'm, so I'm gonna take this right now. I'm gonna move it over to my other monitor, which you guys don't see here on the screen. So I'm gonna move it to my other monitor. And then on that monitor, I can see the charts there and see if the stock is moving or not. Uh, let's say I see uh, Blackberry moving and then I'm gonna switch uh, right the way to um, my trading watch list. I'm gonna switch right away and then click on Blackberry so that way I can trade it. So that's the way I do it. Or let's say Clove is moving. I can switch over here and look at Clove and say, hey, this is Clove. It's, it's, it's actually gapping. So um, do I want to go in or I, I want to stay? Look at all the other indicators. So that is the basic setup that I have right now um, for trading stocks on Weibo. And again, guys, this is just the basic layout that I have. Uh, if you can, if we go again on the trade, um, you can definitely create a multiple layout to your likings, depending on what you're trading. So for stocks, this is what we have. I'm going to do a separate video to show you guys what a layout looks like for options. So if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated. Thank you.